Hey everybody, Joel, ImportSauce.com. Today I wanted to show you a little bit about our paint correction or paint restoration process. Stick around. Okay, so, uh, recently had some damage on the vehicle and uh, we went ahead and sourced our parts from the local junkyard. No point in taking this to a body shop. Um, and uh, we already had a two-tone theme going on, so uh, it's a lot easier to find black panels than it is to find uh, this blue. Um, but when we go to the junkyard, we take a look and really we're looking for dents and dings. Uh, this was off in 05, so uh, the body panel or the hood, almost 20 years old. Um, but that doesn't mean that it can't uh, be brought back. Um, so, we had a little bit of dust here, but essentially, as I mentioned, we just check for dents and dings and anything else will be fine, right? It, it doesn't actually look that bad. Um, when I'm looking at this angle, you can see the reflection, but the uh, paint is old. Fender came off the same car. If you look close, you can see, uh, you know, just a lot of, uh, just, uh, you know, clear uh, coat issues. So let's talk about the tools and the products. Uh, so essentially, uh, five main products that we use. We're gonna start off with the clay bar, uh, keep it wet. We'll go ahead and uh, remove any small particulates or imperfections that are stuck in the top uh, clear coat. Um, and then we will move on to, I like this, uh, we've been using it for, for about 10 years now, is the 3M uh, Perfect It uh, EX. And um, we don't have stage one, we couldn't get a hold of that, uh, but stage one, uh, two and three, and essentially what it is, is stage one is like a rubbing compound where it's going to uh, remove any oxidation, um, small scratches, any water spots, all those kinds of things. Number two is just gonna be the machine polish, which is gonna then go ahead and start to polish everything back up. And then number three is the ultra fine machine polish, which is just gonna really give it a glass mirror finish on there. Um, so again, uh, two and three, very important. One, uh, stage one, we were okay going with the 3M, just the advanced rubbing compound, which is fine. Um, and next time we're down and we see stage one, we'll pick up a bottle of that, but the magic really happens on two and three. And then the fifth thing is going to be, uh, obviously just, uh, your standard wax or whatever kind of sealer that you use. In terms of tools, we use this Porter cable. Um, and we have a different, uh, disc for each one of the stages. So we'll start off with, um, one of these, uh, for stage one and two, and just so that we can keep the products separated, each, uh, product will have its own disc and then we'll move on to, um, something, uh, a little bit different or, uh, finer for stage three. Also, if you're doing small areas, we picked up this kit on Amazon. Just wanted to show you that. It has tons of different options, and this actually just hooks onto a drill bit. Um, we're not gonna use that here on uh, this because obviously the hood is very large. Um, but uh, we will uh, use that for smaller portions if we're just doing some spot touching on scratches or uh, for example, debadging. Uh, and we want to, after we've done the uh, adhesive removal, we may just do a small spot check with that. Uh, so what we're gonna do is start off with, uh, and we're just gonna do half uh, for this so that you can see a side-by-side -side comparison. Get this stuff out of the way. So what we do, is we have a bucket of water and we're just going to keep the hood moist. And then uh, what we'll do is just rub the clay bar across the hood um, and you will uh, feel at first it's very gritty and uh, kind of, you know, and you'll feel it, you may hear it. And after a while, you'll flip it over and you'll see a lot of those particulates getting caught in the clay and essentially just keep it very wet and just keep going until it feels uh, smooth. Uh, and you'll definitely feel the resistance on the clay bar. There won't be as any, and you'll be able to feel it to the touch. Like right now, if I run my finger, I can feel grit and sand and just all kinds of stuff that, uh, you know, you can't even see. So we'll go ahead and uh, do that. I will unwrap this and kind of just show you what we do there. Okay, so 
we have our bucket of water and we have our sponge. So essentially we're just gonna kinda get the area moist and then we'll take our clay bar unwrapped and we'll just kinda, you can go circular, you can go long and you're just gonna keep going over the same area until you feel that the resistance is no longer there. So already we're getting nice and smooth, no sound. And we'll just do half of the hood. See up here, you can hear it. And if you look, you can start to see all those particulates and stuff coming out of that top clear coat. So we'll go ahead and do the whole half of the hood and then uh, report back. Okay, one note is after you start to pinch and rub, this thing's going to start getting misshapen, but it's clay, so you can kind of just remold it back into a good shape that gives you some good uh, surface contact, and uh, feel free to just keep kind of moving it around. Okay, so we have done half of the hood now. Um, if we look close at the bar, we can see a lot of uh, grime and particulates, and you can just see all that stuff that was removed out of the clear coat there. Uh, one thing uh, that we always kind of use as a rule of thumb is as good as the panel looks when it's wet or has its best reflective surface is as good uh, as you'll be able to restore the paint too. So uh, kind of ignore the bubbles, but uh, you know, you can see that that's a going to be a pretty solid mirror finish there. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, dry this off and then we'll also uh, just clean a portion of the un uh, completed side of the hood just so we can do a, a full comparison you know not that we're looking dirty but it, as good as it can be when it's clean versus what it's going to be done when we're done here okay so there's the driver's uh, side of the hood here's a passenger side that we just kind of quickly cleaned off so we can keep comparing um, and I'm noticing it's hard for this camera to pick up but this hood is in really terrible shape right so if you look here you got all this water spotting um, and just when you uh, Put a rag across so you can just hear come over to this side can't hear anything right but uh let's see if we can try to catch any of those swirl marks yeah so right you know in here you can see all that swirling from there we go that's a good angle a little bit of clear fade there there is a good angle you can see how truly terrible this is right so you're trying to see the reflection of the tree but all you see is scratches and damaged clear coat and all of that so uh we're gonna move on to stage one which is going to be the uh rubbing compound back there which is going to go ahead and uh remove some of this oxidation um and uh, a lot of those swirls will start to come out as well so Okay, so we're plugged in. We got uh, stage one, just the compound. We got a nice healthy amount on there. Um, yes, even look at that angle. You can see around this wiper. You can see this uh, clear coat issues that we have here. Um, and then what we do is don't fire this thing up like that. It's going to squirt all over you. So, uh, you know, we'll just kind of get a little bit of it on there first. And then we'll fire it up. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to do passes um you know from center of the hood to the edge of the hood and we'll kind of do a, a square section like that up and down all the way across side to side all the way across and we'll just keep going and we'll use our rag to wipe that off and kind of see the results um but we'll probably spend uh maybe about 20 minutes or so on this half section here. Um, if the pad gets dry or the material starts to heat up and flake off, then we'll definitely uh, just reapply and, and make sure to keep the pad and the hood uh, moist with material. So uh, we're not gonna press too hard. We're just gonna kind of let this glide over the surface and do its thing, uh, minimal pressure there. Okay, here we are. Eh, it's about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. All the product is still on the vehicle, just so you can see. Um, and what we'll do is, see if I can get a good angle. There it is, right? So we're gonna get our rag and wipe all of this material off. And then kind of assess if we still see a lot of swirls or a lot of issues in the top. Uh, the stage one is the, the most, uh, has the most cut power to it. So we may uh, go back and do some more. And considering this was a junkyard trunk, uh, that, that may be an issue. Okay, so we can already see here 
yeah that was clear but look how much shinier that is just with a stage one we do have that one little trouble spot with the clear and we can kind of see there um you can feel it uh, i think what we're going to do is probably get some 3000 grit and see if we can feather that out before we go any further um one thing i like to do is when we're wiping off product to keep everything separate right so i'll have a, a rag for stage one wiping off in product just like we have the different pads stage two a separate one stage three and then i have a whole pile more um that i'll use just as a clean to really you know really see what's going on but i mean finger right down the middle look at that you can already kind of see if it doesn't focus on my finger but right here you can see the difference already with stage one so let me go ahead and uh get my sandpaper and uh, show you what we do there okay so we went up and saw what we had we had some 15 and some 3000 so uh 15 uh well we're gonna get it kind of rough with that but i'll kind of show you the process here we're hoping that this imperfection is uh kind of just limited to the top portion of the clear coat which it does feel that it does uh, is we don't want to get in there and start getting through the clear and getting down to the base coat because we're not going to be able to polish that back up this little section doesn't look too bad uh i think we found another one Eh, a little scratch right there that uh there that we're gonna get rid of as well so I'm just gonna kind of definitely uh, keep it moist um, the square is a little big we don't want to have too much over it so got to keep this thing super wet so what we'll do is we just kind of keep our sponge here and then every few seconds we'll go back and kind of just you know give it a little squeeze and then that way that area is um, you know staying good so I can kind of feel it almost the same way that you would feel a clay bar. Um, and you can see that white residue is the clear coat coming off. So you don't want to get too crazy, but um, already it, it feels like we've already gotten rid of that imperfection. Uh, you want to keep, when you're doing this process, keep wiping, right? Because you need to see it dry. And yeah, <sighs> ultra dry. Give it a second for the... Uh, the water to clear oh, that's fun just not helping okay give it a little time for the water to clear and the hood to see how it's drying out beautiful and you're gonna say oh man we went ahead and and uh, undid that shine uh that's fine uh but yeah see we still have a little bit here but that was quick and easy so i'll just keep it i'll keep it live while we kind of uh get that out right so we're just barely going across and i don't feel it anymore let's get the sponge out of the way let's uh dry this off let the air dry it and there we go see that sucking up okay and and see just one more little part we're gonna hit that but i mean essentially that's smooth and we've gotten most of that out um again this is just because it was right on the top of the clear coat um but essentially we've done entire body panels in this uh for example when we got our trunk from the junkyard it was in really bad shape we did the whole trunk and there was still enough clear coat i mean you as long as uh white's coming off that's still clear coat so let's go ahead and dry that sometimes it helps if you get you know a brand new dry guy that'll dry real quick so that you can kind of look at it and yeah that is looking good that's just a little dip that's gonna be fine but yeah essentially that's gone um and then when we go back with our stage one and hit this area it's going to bring this right back to life like we saw here uh while i was upstairs getting some stuff i went ahead and got uh some tape just so we can kind of see uh just wash straight from the junkyard and what's going on here okay so we are done we also got rid of that scratch that was uh over here somewhere um, so now we're going to keep it moist. We're going to move up to 3,000. You can uh, intermittently jump from 15 to 25, 3, which is typically what we do. 
but we're in a pinch because we have 15 and three. And so we're gonna go through and even with the 3000, we're gonna see that a lot of this is going to smooth out and get it ready for the compound to just uh, kind of do its thing. Okay, we've already done one pass with the 3000. We can see a lot of those sand scratches are already starting to disappear. We still have some some uh, swirls there, but we're gonna try to work that out. Uh, I'll do another pass and then we'll just see. Okay, so we can still see where we did our sanding there, um, but we've pretty much cleaned that up. We are going to go ahead and get our uh, stage one rubbing compound back on that area and, uh, and wipe it off and we should be uh, consistent and the clear coat imperfection is uh, now gone. <clears throat> okay, we're back. We can see the area that we sanded. Pretty solid, right? Brought our shine back. And let's just look at the difference again. Look at the reflection of the trees. We can see on the passenger side, original hood from the junkyard, 2005. This is uh, at this point, clay bar, a little bit of uh, wet sanding on the clear coat issues. And we're gonna move to stage two. So we're gonna get a new pad, uh, suit that up, get it juicy and go for it and we'll start removing finer sand scratches and kind of polishing up. Uh, at this point, the two racks that we've used are going to be uh, not trash, but they're moved over to the done pile. Uh, we don't want to mix old compound, dirty rags. Every stage gets uh, at least two fresh rags, right? One to pull the product off and one to kind of just really give it a, a good shine that we can see what's going on. So we'll move on to stage two. Okay, we've done our first pass with stage two. Uh, you look close and you'll see some areas. We're gonna hit it again, but again, let me uh, get these rags out of the way. And let's just look at the uh, reflection of the trees, right? Over here, foggy, cloudy tree. Look at that. Look at that mirror um, on there, right? So how we know we're not done, we take a closer look and you can see that area where we uh, had done a little sanding. See, it's still a little fuzzy in that uh, general area. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna hit that and try to bring out some more of these uh, little fine, can't really see them, um, sand scratches that we got on there. Um, but I mean, overall so far, let's take a step back and see, right? So uh, we'll do another pass with stage two. Okay, stage two, second pass. Looking pretty good, right? Down here versus, look at that. Untreated junkyard hood, two stages in. So we got clay bar, a little bit of a correction with a wet sand on the clear coat. Uh, rubbing compound stage one. Uh, machine polish stage two. Uh, I think we're ready to move to stage three, which will be the uh, ultra fine machine polish. Uh, so same thing, we're gonna get some fresh rags and uh, just go at it. Okay, so we just finished stage three. Quick pass, maybe about eh, 10 minutes or so on there. Um, with our ultra fine wheel and our stage three of the 3M uh, Perfect It kit. And look at that, right? Um, we did this quick and dirty, but if you go through and you see sand scratches or anything, you can always uh, work backwards, right? Maybe just a certain area. Oh, I see an issue here. Let me go ahead and uh, hit this with uh, stage one, two, three, or just let me try uh, light scratches, uh, stage three, medium scratches. Um, you'll get a feel for it, uh, but I mean, look at that, right? Uh, disclaimer, the product is fairly expensive. I think they're, they have big, big bottles, but they have the small and the medium, right? The small one is like 15. I think the medium one there is about 30 and then they have a large one that could be 60 or 70. But um, once you've done this once, you can go back and just kind of touch it up once a year uh, and those bottles will last. I've had those a couple of years now. Um, you can see I didn't even use much product on the stage three. The thing is not even really saturated. But again, look at that. 
right? This was a junkyard hood. Um, and the reason that it looks so crappy on the passenger side is because it wasn't cared for and it was not waxed regularly. It was abused by the sun, but we were able to bring it back. Let's do a close flyby. You can see if you get close, I mean, look at that shine versus junkyard, right? We saw, okay, yeah, there's some mirror, but remember we saw a lot of issues when we lit close on it. Uh, clear coat issues were over here.